Man that is born of woman hath but a short time to live, and is full of misery. He cometh up, and is cut down like a flower. He fleeth as it were a shadow, and never continueth in one stay. Of whom may we seek for succor but of thee, O Lord, who for our sins are justly displeased. Yet, O Lord God most holy, O Lord most mighty, deliver us not into the bitter pains of eternal death. As we stand in the presence of our dead, we know that it is not defeat, but victory. Help us to know that in thy good time, hearts that are sundered here shall be reunited in the country of their hopes, where thou shalt make us glad in thine abundant answer to our every humble prayer. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Be strong and of good courage. Fear not, nor be afraid. For the Lord thy God, he it is that doth go with thee. He will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. God is not a God of the dead, but of the living, for all live unto him. With thee, O Lord, is the foundation of life. In thy light shall we see light. Unto Almighty God, we commend the soul of our brother, William Sidney Fairgate departed. And we commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. In firm and abiding faith that, as he hath borne the image of the earthly, so also he doth now bear the image of the heavenly. The dust returns to the earth as it was, but the spirit hath returned unto God who gave it. Amen. Why don't you let me do that? <laughs> no, thanks, Gary. I don't mind. And you've got your AA meeting. Go ahead. I'm having fun. Okay. Janet, uh, could you lock up when you leave, please? Sure. Thank you. Ah, hi, Richard. How's it going? Fine, fine. What are you doing here? I'm looking for Karen. Ah, oh, she's right in the office. Thanks. And I'll see you later. See you later. Richard, hi. Hmm. Come to buy a new car, I hope. Come to buy you dinner. Oh, well, I'd love that. But uh, uh, no buts. Laura is working late, and I plan to send Jason off to his Aunt Susie's. I'm in the mood for Julio's oh crab God. fingers. Well, that does sound wonderful, mm. except my kids are at home waiting dinner for me. Yes, well, your kids can fend for themselves. I've seen them fending in their great fenders. That's because their father is in the car business. Their mother. Bad joke. Terrible. Come on. You deserve a treat. Oh, Richard, thanks. I'm fine. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, well, really? I am. Yeah, well, you're too fine. You see, you should be indulging yourself. I mean, wallowing in some nice, sloppy self-pity. <laughs> oh, believe me, Richard, I have not been shortchanging myself in the sloppy self-pity department. Telephone, Mrs. Fairgate. <coughs> Mom, it's me. Michael, what's up? When will you be home? Oh, in about a half hour. I just have some things to do here. But it's after six. Will you go ahead and eat? Diana did cook, didn't she? Yeah, but when will you be home? I'll be home as soon as I'm finished, okay? Okay. Bye. I better get home. All right. It's okay. No problem. I'll just go back to my house and sit in the dark. <laughs> I'll take a rain check. You got it. Janet, where would I find last year's ledger? In the uh, closet in Mr. Fairgate's office. You want me to get it for you? Nope. I'll get it.
Looks great. Chain it up. Mrs. Farragut. Mm-hmm. What's going on? Good. Where are they taking it? Away. It's theirs. Thank you, Mrs. Farragut. Thank you. You sold it? Why? Well, it wasn't doing anybody any good in the garage. Well, why didn't you tell us? Tell you what? That you were putting it up for sale. You told us that. Well, why? I, I wouldn't let you keep it anyway. It's not for city driving. Well, I just don't understand why you didn't tell us first. It didn't occur to me. It's Dad's car. I'm sorry. I, I should have told you. Excuse me. When have you had to ask? Since never. Only I don't know what the new rules are. Everything is so different now. Say what you have to say, Diana. Okay. When Daddy died, that was the worst thing that ever happened to any of us. But the way we are now, this is the second worst. Diana, it's all part of the same thing. Adjusting to it is, is, is just as bad as experiencing it. But we're not adjusting to it. We're not even trying to. We're not talking to each other. We're not helping each other. We're not even a family. That is ridiculous, Diana. Even though I, I'm not around all the time, you and We boys... take our cue from you. And if you don't talk to us, we don't talk to each other. Good God, Diana. I said I was sorry. I should have told Eric about the car, okay? Forget the car. We don't talk about anything. We walk around here angry and sulking because you seem so angry. I'm not angry at you. Well, then who are you angry at? Daddy? Mother? When these cool, put them in the freezer. How can you be angry I'm not at him? Get dressed, Diana. You are angry yes, at him! I am, okay? When I think about him, I get mad. At him and his admirable morality. He had to go do the right thing! Out of his way to help! To do his duty! Well, where does that leave us? What's moral about five Stop days it. without their father and Stop me without it. my husband? Where Stop is that? Stop it! Stop it! Lousy morality! Stop, Stop it! it. But, Mrs. Ellis, I'm trying to explain to you. I don't want an explanation from you. I want to talk to Sid Fairgate. Can I help you? I'm Karen Fairgate. Well, I'm happy to meet you, but I want to talk to Sid. He's the only one who understands my car. I've been trying to explain... That... And I've been trying to explain to you, young man, that I want to talk to Sid Fairgate. Um, Mrs... Ellis. Ellis. Look it up. I bought three cars from Sid Fairgate, and he serviced everyone personally. Well, uh, Mrs. Ellis... Sid died. Now, when will he be back? My husband died five weeks ago, Mrs. Ellis. I'm sorry. But... Well, there's something wrong with my car. This is Ed Winters. He's overseeing the service department now, and I'm sure he'll be happy to give you the same personal attention that Sid gave you. Right, Ed? Of course. Please. 